so let us see the new qc module so uh, as you can see you can see all the quality control parameters here uh, which have been configured for la for you to configure a new parameter you can click on this button select the device enter the control name the unit and the test at for which you want to map the control for uh then select levels Le in the level you need you can enter the expected mean as per defined by the manufacturer and the test score this test score is used for interfacing like this you can configure uh the other levels and once configured it will look something like this where all level data is added once it is configured and interfaced uh if you click on the control name you will see all the qc values uh in the lj chart all three levels data together making it super easy to use and analysis of those qc values next to the graph you can also print the report uh if you want to keep records or you can just export the values in excel from here you can also add uh control values manually if there is a manual qc recording uh which you want to record you can also see the bar chart of the qc values over time to see any shift in patterns the quality control uh also allows you to see the latest qc values while filling the report for the map test the new qc also has an option to apply westgard rules so you can automatically block reports in certain qc rules violation and show warning uh, for appropriate rules for this level we enter a value now because this value Uh, violated the rule one to s it shows a warning and gives an option to resolve at the report entry screen also i see that the for this qc has a violation if you want to resolve you can go back to the qc section now uh, before that you see that this shows a warning even in the qc page and an alert exception page you can see that these qcs the the warning status over here uh the qcs for which it is not perform in this time period will show up here so you know at all times that uh, which qcs are not performed during this time period now let us just go and resolve the exception so i click on the exceptions click on resolve and i see the i like have to enter the kappa comments manually resolve and i enter the kappa comments and save and resolve once it is resolved it now come back to the okay status if i go back to the waiting list and refresh i see that it's all fine i but i see the last qc value over here but it's all fine no problems now now let's consider the case where let's say i had a value which violates a westgard rule that causes a decision so just if i add the value now you can see that it is q westgard rule is violated to go on into decision mode if i go to the waiting list i see that the reports which are mapped to this control are on hold because of qc and if i open the test i see that the 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 westgard rule is violated and i goes into decision mode if i click on resolve it takes me back to the qc module where i have to uh, mark this as resolved so let's say i go on resolve screen i see the values which are causing the problem so these two values are r for s and that is why it is causing the problem so i'll just manually resolve and next and i see the affected reports so these two reports are affected now if i want i can just uh, do resolve or i can redo and resolve so if i click redo and resolve these following statuses of reports will be marked as redo so a fresh copy will be created but old will be still available for the record and these statuses will be removed from hold directly so if i confirm now these values have been removed uh, from on hold and all values are okay and if i go back to the waiting list 
and it's marked as resolved and the resolution comment is what I put while resol resolving the report. So this is how the new QC can automate your quality control processes and make sure that your reports which are delivered are correct and allow you to maintain your QC compliances.